and love our next guest as Molly from the hit show Insecure. Now she's helping us say goodbye to the year 2021 with her new comedy special, Yearly Departed. Please welcome Yvonne Orji. Hello. 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 Yvonne, how you doing? Hi, Boo. Congratulations. You look oh, great. Thank you so much. Oh my God, you do too. You're glowing. I love it. Now, you've been out here working harder than ever, but before you became a working actress and comedian, you went to the George Washington University and earned not one, but two degrees. Wow. Where were you going before you started acting? Well, I was, I was supposed to be on my way to med school. I don't think it would have worked out well for me or any of my patients. So really? I'm glad I'm doing this. <laughs> and what was your second degree in, Yvonne? I got my master's in public health. Wow, that is great. So what was the turning point that led you away from medicine into comedy? Because we love you in comedy. Oh, I love me in comedy, too. I don't even <laughs> like blood. So that was that was not going to be a great career track for me. But uh, yeah, no, one day I entered a pageant. And apparently, you need a talent for pageants. And uh, <laughs> I didn't have one, so I prayed. And I was like, God, come on, you got to throw me a solid. And I heard the voice of God tell me to do comedy. And I said, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> he was like, well, what else you got? And I didn't have anything left. And, you know, it was at that point that I was like, I'm either going to trust him or I'm not. And then I did comedy, and people started laughing. And I thought, well, maybe this was just like a one-time thing. Then I did it again, and it worked out. And so here I am. Like, yeah, I was going to say, later. comedy is absolutely a talent. I think it's one of the hardest jobs I wouldn't take on. It is. To it, try to make people laugh. But it's not surprising with her having a medical degree, because comedy does require thinking. Mm. I can see why she's good at it, so mm. it makes sense. Yeah, Ooh, I'm she's engineer, smart so. and she's funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Stop, stop, keep going, stop, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> All right, so you're a very spiritual person, too. I want to know, how does your worldview influence your approach to comedy? You know, I think my comedy is very observational. I take everything, the, like the silly stuff that happens. Like when I lived in New York, anything that happened on the train was like free game or, um, you know, like general life, like my friends dating lives might end up in my, you know, my comedy, uh, just going to, in my last uh, uh, comedy special, Mama, I Made It, I talked about the, the kind of bananas I like and the fact that I haggle as a Nigerian and, you know, I can't, spotted bananas should not be the same as ripe bananas. Like, <laughs> then price has got to... Agreed. Some, some, something's got to give. Agreed. <laughs> I love so that. I Did you put a lot of those observations in your new book, Bamboozled by Jesus? Yes. So basically that book is really just telling the story of how I got to be where I am in the most just... It was not a linear path whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it parallels my story with a lot of stories in the Bible. But I'll, it's not your grandmama's Bible study. It's like if DMX, rest in peace, boo, if he wrote the Bible, that's what the Bible stories would be like. It was just a little Cardi B and a little, you know, first John just mixed in one. <laughs> and so I tell my story about how I got to be here and how I feel like God was tricking me along the way. But obviously it was a good trick because right. I made it. Um, and so the, it's, it's really for inspiration for anybody who feels like they're in a transition. And I mean, if we coming out of the pandemic, we, we're all in a transition. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think it's safe to say that Lonnie and I and everybody else in the world is so bummed Boo. that Insecure is ending after this season, especially because the show has done so much when it comes to diversity in Hollywood. Yeah. So how do you feel about this being its final year? Did you just boo? Did you just? I just I'm mad because it, yes, yeah, I cause did. I boo. Because I'm boo. mad it's ended. Yes, wow. It should not yeah. end, Yvonne. Oh, I, I, just make sure you send all your mail to Issa Rae um, at 1 Issa Rae Avenue. Okay, because she she she, she's the one to talk to. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, no, we're, we're pretty sad as well. I think we went out with a bang. Um, I hope the fans are happy. I mean, we're three, you know, we're a couple episodes in, three episodes in now. And, you know, Twitter been talking, boy. They one minute they happy, another minute they're like crucify them. So oh. I mean, our show has been like you said, really good in uh, highlighting diversity, but also highlighting real stories. Like these are black characters that are fully realized. They are not just you know 
seat fillers, if you will. No, they are written by Black people for Black characters with all the nuance um, and without much trauma, if you will. <laughs> yeah, and you know, even like the whole thing with the AKA situation, I was like, Lord, y'all have always been trending in something and that's what I'm gonna miss the most. But I have to ask you, are you happy with how things ended for your character, Molly? You know, you know, you start the watch. But I don't know why my voice was so. Yeah, but you know, with that pitch hits, yeah. we're still debatable like uh -huh, that. Uh -huh. You know. <laughs> 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 I she think I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let the fans weigh in on, you know, if they're happy with how things ended for, for okay, Molly. Okay, so it's up to you to decide, real fam. Okay, well, up next, you're hosting the Amazon Prime Video Original Comedy Special, Yearly Departed. Yes. The special is gonna take a look back at all the pieces of 2021 that we would like to forget. But I wanna <laughs> ask you if you had to pick one really good thing yeah. that happened to you this year. You. Yeah, you, <laughs> you have to pick it. Okay. Go ahead and brag on it. What would it be? Okay, well, first, I'm really excited for Yearly Departed because that comes out December 23rd, and then Insecure's last episode is December 26th. So we're going to make you laugh on the 23rd, and you all might shed a tear on the 26th. So you're welcome. We have rain. <laughs> um, but one thing that I'm really excited about this year, I got to travel. You know, with the world being shut down, travel was kind of at a halt. But I'm so grateful I got to go to Bora Bora, Oh. You know, I was out here flexing on boats and whatnots. And then I went to um, Italy and Morocco. So I was out here. You know, I was on that international eat, pray, luxury. Yes. That's what I was, that's, that's what I was doing. Yes, you know, and as you first, you, you stated earlier that in 2006, you were at the Miss Nigeria beauty pageant. You did stand up, you know, as a stand up, I gotta ask, do you remember the first joke you ever told? Ooh. I do actually. <laughs> uh, I, the joke was the fact that like Nigerians don't know how to whisper, and so I just went through like a series of like my mom taking phone calls, and she's all like, "Can you hear me?" No, I can't hear you, but can you hear me? And I'm like, "Yeah, my everybody can hear you because we at church." Like, put the phone away. <laughs> like, <stop. laughs> Love That's it. That's a good one. Wait, now it I want to see you in action. So we have a clip of you in Yearly Departed. We're gathered here today to lay 2021 to rest. Everybody. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll be honest, guys. I started off this year feeling very hopeful. I had a whole vision board party. I had on there that Drake would finally answer my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> 2021, you literally had one job. Don't be 2020. <laughs> but in the end, 2021 was less of a new year and more of a 2020 variant. <laughs> but we are not here to mourn because I am declaring that this right here, this is a celebration. Yvonne, first of all, we love your hair color. That is yeah. beautiful on you. Money. You're looking great, girl. Um, Thank you're, you, girl. <laughs> you're hosting the upcoming Amazon Prime video comedy special, Yearly Departed, which features an all-female lineup of guests. How cool is that? So we wanted to get your take on some of the biggest pop culture moments of 2021. How does that sound? I think let's do it. Let's let's do it. Okay, everybody, this is Yvonne's year in review. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, so let's start off with something that everybody was excited about as soon as the year opened up, mm -hmm. which was movies. Movie theaters mm -hmm. opening up, the lockdown was re released so that people could come and enjoy their movies in theaters. Were you ready to go back to the theater? I don't know that I was ready to go back to the theater, but I did just see my very first movie in a the theater in like a year and a half. I okay. saw The Heart of They Fall um, at the IPIC and it was worth it. it. It reminded me of like why people went to the movies in the first place. So, yeah. yes. Yeah, yes. just seeing Idris was worth it. Oh God. <laughs> And them cowboy chaps and that hat, ooh. I mean, he's yes. married, we should let him run. Oh, focus. Oh. Focus. Right, right, Okay, okay, okay. let me focus. Okay, let's hear your thoughts on the royal interview heard around the world when Oprah interviewed Prince Harry and Meghan mm. Markle. Was this as exciting for you as it was for everyone else? That's a good one. Yeah, I mean, I think it was exciting, but I mean, I don't know that any of us were shocked to find out, like, you know, the British were like, you know, maybe a little racist. <laughs> I don't know, colonialism, anybody? I know. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, you're right about I that. Feel you. We weren't that surprised, right? Yeah. Now let's move on to the reunion of the decade. The reunion. For the first time since the show went off the air in 2004, the cast of Friends reunited in a televised special 
What did you think? Did you watch? Were you balling? Is it sad to say that I watched The Fresh Prince instead? I watched The Fresh Prince reunion. No, it's not sad to say that. It's not sad. <laughs> and we, you know what? We're going to see Insecure in 10 years. Let's hope for that. <laughs> Okay, I'll be I'll be there. Shoot, I'm about to grace with that. There you go. All right, switching gears to famous couples. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez got the world talking when they rekindled their love. Yes, 17 years after their previous engagement ended, the internet had a lot to say about, I call it Benifer 2.0. What did you think, Yvonne? What I thought was, is she aging backwards? Is she Benjamin Button instead of Benifer? <laughs> because 17 years later, J-Lo still looks amazing. The That's same. all I know. OK. And she made him look hotter. Yes. <laughs> it's like, yes. I was like, we were not thinking about Ben. It's and like then I was like, like, ooh. He almost like, Whatever like he water remembers the drinking. shower. He's like, you know what? I'm going to take a, I feel like taking a shower. <laughs> 17 years today. It's like. Right, Whatever got... water they are drinking, I want to swim in it. I yes. want to luxuriate in it. Like, that's that's the blessing of Abraham right there. There you go. Oh, Isaac and Jacob. Yes. <laughs> it's expensive water, too. It's the kind with, like, cucumbers and stuff. Okay. All right, we got to talk about the biggest TV hit of the year, my favorite, Squid, Squid Game. Game. So the show explored what would happen if, like, hundreds of cash-strapped contestants competed in classic children's games, except there was a deadly twist. What do you say, Yvonne? Were you hooked on Squid Game, girl? I, you know, I, not yet, because I've been, you know, I've been busy. So I'm, it's probably going to be my holiday binge. But everybody and their mamas is hooked on it, and I'm a little nervous because it's just like red light, green light, and then somebody blow up. So I'm like, am I going to be triggered as a kid? Like, what's going on? <laughs> Okay, I love it. And finally, the artist formerly known as Kanye West officially changed his name to Ye this year. And are you on board with the name change up? I feel like everybody is changing their name or has in the past. You know, Prince changed his name just to assemble. Uh, Diddy is now love, so yay is now yay. Okay. Yes. Snoop yeah. is Snoop Lion, so everybody yes. changes. My yeah. people have been doing I'm... it for centuries. Hong is now Kim. <laughs> Lin is Linda. I mean, like, it's normal. You guys are what catching up. What would you up. change your name to? What would you two change your name to? See, Jeannie, because my people don't pronounce Jeannie, they always say Jenny. So yeah. I would just go for Jenny. So I then like it's just that. easy. I like that. Oh. Mine's is drunk Lonnie. OK, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with her. You are so much fun, Yvonne. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I appreciate you guys oh. for having me. Thank you. Yes. And I'll see you guys in December, December 23rd and 26th. You heard it straight from Yvonne herself. Yearly Departed will be available to stream on Amazon Prime. Video on December 23rd. Mark can't your wait. calendars.